I like to call this a meeting of the, uh, the Board of Zoning Appeals to Order. Um, Julie, will you call, Judy, will you call the roll, please? Yes, Salmonson. Present. Osterholm. Here. Baraska. Here, with great stupidity. Not, not a problem. Um, do we have any communications? We do not. No communications. The agenda, we have one, we have one, uh, one to go over tonight, one to variance to go over. Um, if everybody take a, a, a look at let review the last, last meeting's minutes, if you have any uh, corrections, let me know. If not, um, make, a motion. make a motion. Uh, a motion that we adopt the minutes of the previous meeting. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Did, we, did we get a second on that? Oh. Aye. Matt, did you second it? Uh, do can, I, can I second it? I second it, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, open the public a meeting. Um, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Meg Leatherman. Um, I'm planning and zoning administrator to be. Um, you yes. are. Okay, I am. This is a variance application submitted by Alex Melamed on behalf of Robert Lightcap. Um, to encroach into property line setbacks is located at 602 Robinwood at the corner of King and Robinwood streets and is in the RB zone, which is medium density residential. The homeowner would like to construct a 144 square foot covered deck in the front of his home, uh, but since the property is on a corner lot, there are two lot lines that um, the code considers to be the front setback and therefore both require a 20 foot setback. Um, the request is to reduce the setback along Robinwood by six feet, so there would be a 14-foot setback along Robinwood, and um, reduce it by three feet on King Street, so there would be a 17-foot setback along King Street. Um, the proposal is in compliance with all other dimensional standards from the code. Um, staff is recommending approval of the variance request, as we believe it is in line with the character of the neighborhood, and that is a reasonable um, expectation to enjoy the outdoor space of your home and would not adversely affect any government services or nearby properties. And that is all I have. I'll stand for questions. Okay. The commissioners. No. Any other questions? No, I would not look that. Look yeah. straightforward to me. Um, I will open the public hearing now. Or right, Sir Jacobs, who's going to add anything to it? Uh, Go ahead. For sure. <coughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, the application here. Uh, yeah, Robert uh, asked me to design him a porch that he could um, uh, enjoy with a number of friends, and the way the traditional ranch that he's in is situated um, on the corner just makes it a little bit difficult to to have a nice outdoor room in the front, um, and. Uh, Porches are one of the things that Yale Springs is known for that make uh, Yale Springs streets and communities great. And so making a little extra room beyond the code to uh, give space for that kind of community activity seems very appropriate. So, thank you. Uh, I will open the public. Oh, you rejected? I'm sorry, sir. Something you said, or someone said. Um, so, I'm Robert Lightcap, the owner of the property. Um, we have a real active, informal, neighborhood group. We get together for legal bonfires or whatever you have in your backyard. And uh, uh, spontaneous uh, settings. Uh, there, there's a, a dozen of us that get together pretty regular. And again, this porch is to accommodate some music play and my friends and neighbors to uh, that semi-public space. So that's all I want to say. It's a great neighborhood. I hope to add to it. Good. Um, I'd like to open the public hearing. I see no one wants to speak. I'll close the public hearing. Judy, can you read the oh, do you have any questions, Scott? Matt or Scott, do you have anything you'd like to talk about? Matt, are you able to unmute? I can't imagine that having anything to say. Well, I've got to get him on for the uh, little bunker situation. Oh. Matt, if you can unmute, uh, we just need you on deck for 
Oh, here, present listening. Excellent. Okay, we're um, we've closed the public hearing, and Judy's going to read the Duncan standards. All right. So what I'm going to do is roll through these and pause for a second. And if I don't hear anyone hollering a question, I'll rip through the roll call. Um, and and because I don't have a response back from the attorney, yes, I do. And yes, we're going to do it for both. So uh, on the first, the first one that I'll roll through is the variance to the King Street front, which, a, which is a three-foot variance on the King Street side. So that is what we're rolling through right now. Here we go. One, whether the property in question will yield a reasonable return or whether there can be any beneficial use of the property without the variance. Salmonson. Yes. Raska. Yes. Osterholm. Yes. Two, whether the variance is substantial. Raska. No. Osterholm. No. Salmonson. No. Three, whether the essential character of the neighborhood would be substantially altered or adjoining properties would suffer substantial detriment as a result of the variance. Salmonson. No. Osterholm. No. Raska. No. Four, whether the variance would adversely affect delivery of governmental services such as water, sanitary, electric, storm collection, or refuse collection. Osterholm. No. Salmonson. No. Raska. No. Why whether the property owner purchased the property with knowledge of the zoning restriction. Raska. Yes. Osterholm. Yes. Salmonson. Yes. We got an extra yes in there. <laughs> Six, whether the property owner's predicament feasibly can be obviated through some method other than a variance. Raska. Yes. <laughs> She's not with you. Okay, Salmonson. Yes. Osterholm. Yes. Seven, whether the existing conditions from which a variance is being sought were self created. Osterholm. Uh, yes. Raska. Yes. Salmonson. Yes. And eight, whether the spirit and intent behind the zoning requirement would be observed and substantial justice done by granting the variance. Osterholm. Yes. Salmonson. Yes. Raska. Yes. All right. Um, is there a motion? Motion to approve the variance for the setback request. I'll second it. So the motion is to approve the variance of three feet on the King Street side. Salmonson. Yes. Raska. Yes. Osterholm. Yes. Thank you. Excellent work. And now we go to the second part of the variance, which is the six foot variance on the Robinwood frontage. Six feet variance. We'll roll through the standards once again. First of all, whether the property in question will yield reasonable return or whether there can be any beneficial use of the property without the variance. Raska? Yes. Salmonson? Yes. Osterholm? Yes. Two, whether the variance is substantial. Salmonson? No. Raska? No. Osterholm? No. Three, whether the essential character of the neighborhood would be substantially altered or whether adjoining properties would suffer a substantial detriment as a result of the variance. Raska? No. Osterholm? No. Salmonson? No. Four, whether the variance would adversely affect delivery of governmental services such as water, sanitary, electric, stormwater collection, or refuse collection. Salmonson? No. Osterholm? No. Raska? No. <coughs> Five of the property owner purchased the property with knowledge of the zoning restriction. Raska? Yes. Osterholm? Yes. Salmonson? Yes. Six was the property owner's predicament feasibly can be obviated through some method other than a variance. Salmonson? Yes. Raska? Yes. Osterholm? Yes. Seven of the existing conditions from which a variance were, is, are being sought were self created. Salmonson? Yes. Osterholm? Yes. Raska? <coughs> yes. Whether the spirit and intent behind the zoning requirement would be observed and substantial justice done by granting the variance. Raska. Yes. Salmonson. Yes. Osterholm. Yes. 
All right, is there a motion? Motion to approve the variance of the setback request. I'll second the motion. Scott is seconding. A motion to approve a variance of six feet on the Robin Hood side. Braska. Yes, in Oster favor Holm. of the mayor motion. Um, Osterholm. Yes. Salmonson. Yes. Okay, so moved. Congratulations, you got the nine Thank you. Well done. Uh, got to be stage porch fest. That's why we didn't get any anybody yeah. ejecting to the yeah, yeah. Uh, the they don't want to party on this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next uh, 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 I think Denise, you said there's no agenda planning. Nope. Uh Scott's gonna make a motion to adjourn. I'd like to make a motion to it. I'll second. <laughs> Seconded. Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Go enjoy the mall. Yep. Thank you. <laughs>